Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to part 5 of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Ubuntu. Now in this segment we're going to look at internet and the applications that come bundled right with Ubuntu. So if you think you're leaving anything behind, if you switch from Windows to Ubuntu, you'd be mistaken. We click on Applications, Internet, you can see here we have Firefox, very popular browser. If you happen to use X marks, and we have a separate tutorial on that, you can synchronize all of your bookmarks with other PCs that you may have on your system. If you should want an icon on the desktop, you can do it quite easily. Just click Applications, Internet, go down here to Firefox, left click, drag, and drop it. Now you have an icon on the desktop. Another thing under Internet is Pigeon, Internet Messenger. And it's a wonderful system that combines Yahoo, MSN, AOL, Google Talk, and many other instant messaging systems so you can stay in contact with all of your friends. It also has a remote desktop viewer, a BitTorrent client so that you can download files quickly, a soft phone manager, a terminal server for connecting to remote computers, and more. And that doesn't even include the things that you can go ahead and download that are also free software like FTP clients, clients that do trace routes, who is, ping, and lots more. So when you have Ubuntu, you're completely connected to the internet. It easily connects to your home network, and you have the basic tools you need to get started. So this is Ubuntu and the internet, and that concludes part five.